Good morning everyone. Thanks for joining me. Uh, this morning I want to talk to you about worry and the problem of worry and how it robs us. It steals from us our joy and nothing good ever comes from worry. Most of the time things we worry about never happen anyway. But I just want to share some encouragement out of God's Word about how to trust God seek peace and pursue it and give all of our worry to God. You know, it says in 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. But before that, in verse 6, it says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. You know, as humans, we like to be in control, but it's he, he just wants us to surrender all of our strengths and all of our control to him and his control because he's a good God and he holds our future in his hands. And so worry is never a good thing. And so I want to just tell you a quote from Corey Ten Boom. She said, worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrows, but it empties today of its strength. And it's also been said the result of worrying about the future is that you are crippling yourself in the present. And I've always heard the quote, worrying about tomorrow spoils today. And isn't that the truth? It just robs us of our peace and our joy. And so God never intended for us to, to worry because many times in the Bible, he says, don't worry. Don't be afraid. Just Give it to me. Give it to God. And so I want to share a little bit out of my devotional book, Every Day with Jesus. And it says right here, it starts off with uh, Philippians 4, 6 through 7. And it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Don't you just love that part where it says, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus? Because boy, isn't that where the battle is in our mind. You know, we worry about, well, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? Or, you know, this or that? or But worry it, worry's it's not good for our health either. And so, God's peace will protect our heart against the invasion of worry and anxiety and fear. You know, in the Old Testament, in 2 Chronicles 20, 12, Jehoshaphat prayed to God, and he said, We don't have, we, uh, we have no strength and no might against this, this company that's coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And last time I talked about how, uh, in, in I, uh, where it said, He will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So we just need to keep our eyes on Jesus. And it says here in this devotion, which is so good, say, say to the Lord, Lord, I cast all my care on you because you care for me. And so no matter what I'm doing, I'm casting my care on you. I'm casting my problems on you. Instead of worrying, I'm waiting. Instead of panicking, I'm praying. Here it is, Lord. I look to you. The best defense against worry is to be walking with God, to living in close relationship with him through Jesus Christ. And when you do that, you don't have to worry about the future. You walk with Jesus, you get into his word, soak up what it says, get all that encouragement from him, and trust him. And then it says, so don't worry, trust instead. When you walk hand in hand with Jesus, you can walk into the future with anxiety, without anxiety and worry. And that's the real way to not worry and be happy. So you guys have a wonderful day. And let's close in prayer. Thank you, Lord, that you love us so much and that we can cast our worries on you. We can give you all of our anxieties, our fears, everything, God. We just give it to you. And Lord, I pray for everyone out there that they will 
just be able to do that. And Lord, help us not to pick it up again, but just leave it in your wonderful hands. And we thank you, God, that you love us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. You have a wonderful day.